I am in the Builder Source Kitchen with Chef Christian Pontija from Osteria de Assisi. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So, what are we making today? Today, a risotto from, uh, from Italy, uh, from Turin. We're going okay. to make this one for the uh, gala for the Italian Film Festival. Of course. Yeah, we fun. just talked to them and we'll be talking a little bit more about it uh, in a little bit, but. Let's walk through the ingredients that we have here. Okay, we have the carnaroli rice, parmesan, radicchio, spicy Italian sausage, butter, a little of micro greens, organic from Santa Fe, shallots, and parmesan crust, and of course the olive oil. Okay, and what's in this? I'm sorry, heavy cream and red wine. Oh, okay. Barolo red wine. Just in water <laughs> bottles. <laughs> All right, great. Well, I'm very excited to eat this, and we'll get cooking in a little bit, but for now, we're going to send things over to Chad. Gorgeous start here, folks, and it looks like we are going to have a weekend full of the same. It is a beautiful day here, and we are back in the kitchen. Uh, we are talking today about the Italian Film Festival uh, with Chef Christian Pontija from Osteria de Assisi. Did I say it right? Perfect. Got it right. Along with Luca, I'm not even going to pronounce it, Luca? Ceccarelli. Ceccarelli. There we go, from the festival. <laughs> All right, so Chef, what are we cooking here today? Oh, we're going to make a risotto, Torino style. It's with some radicchio, go to put a little bit of olive oil in here, starting with the shallots. And after the rice, mm -hmm. this is a carnaroli rice, it's imported from Italy. Okay. I love it, it's really good. Is this a fairly quick dish to make? I take around 15 minutes. I pre cook the rice in here. Okay. In okay. Here, but is the rice kind of the long part of the, the process? Yeah. The, rice ready? yeah. Okay, gotcha. the, the rest is, is really easy. Okay. Like I put the rice and the shallots, is that you stir a little bit? I have my veggie broth already boiling, and that okay. one is really easy to make, like a carrot, a piece of celery. Okay. And is it? Pour my broth on the rice. So you bring the broth to the boil, and then you put it in with the rice. Correct. Right, gotcha. we, we want to leave the rice to reduce with the broth. Gotcha. And I go to put a little bit of red wine. This is okay. a Barolo red wine. It's from Italy. It's really okay. Good bread. Okay. okay. So now, is this a, a pretty traditional dish for Italy? It's a traditional it dish in, okay. in a. In a Depend of the area, but like in Turin is one of the like uh, really, really uh, traditional dish. Okay. Could be of heavy cream. Okay. That smells really good. Yeah. Damn. So now uh, <laughs> this is part of the this happening in part of the Italian uh, film and yeah, culture festival. Yeah, we go to have uh, uh, the gala dinner at the uh, Osteria da Sisi. A okay. nice part of uh, four courses menu with all like uh, traditional Italian dish okay. and everything come with Italian wine included on the price, and it's gonna be fun. Okay, it's fantastic. So tell us a little bit about the festival. Well, you know, Italians, they love their food, and they love yep. family. And, mm -hmm. and it's one of the beautiful things about the Italians. So, loving children. So they wanted to give back. The Italian, there was an Italian man who about eight years ago decided he wanted to give back somehow mm -hmm. and do it Italian style. So he set up this basically a benefit for the Chil UNM Children's Hospital. Mm -hmm. um, little known fact, I mean, so far this festival's raised over $200,000 for the hospital. Wow. Little known fact is that this money goes towards the Mama Ru swings, which are to help children that are born toxic dependent, so drug addicted okay. children. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So that's what the, the cause is for. Okay. Um, so basically we have a number of films, three days in Santa Fe and then a number of days, seven days in Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. um, the, the wonderful dinner, a special benefit dinner uh, and event with the film on Saturday evening, which is, uh, as Christian was saying, is the, the, the dinner at Osteria da Sisi and a wonderful little family, uh, family film, great for teenagers, great for all ages, called Rossa come il sangue, bianca come il latte, uh, which is basically like an Italian version of um, uh, Fault in Our Stars. Okay. Oh, great. And okay, wonderful films. Exceptional films, films that you generally can't see in this country. Uh, highly, highly recommend anyone who loves cinema, loves Italian culture, loves things a little bit different than what you usually get in the cinemas. It's going to be a wonderful experience. Yeah. Now, I think okay. what's great about the Italian Film and Culture Festival is that it's taking place both in Santa Fe and in Albuquerque. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people still have reservations. You know, Albuquerqueans driving up to Santa Fe and then, you know, the reverse, Santa Feans coming down to Albuquerque. You get chances in both cities to attend. Absolutely, and make a night of it, make a day of it. You know, there's there's opening gala events, there's the special dinners, there's networking, and it's right at the John Cocteau Theater. Oh, great! Um, okay. So you can take the train, jump off, and you're right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's definitely going to be a wonderful little. Experience. It's a great place to see film. Yeah. It's a Absolutely. great place. Yeah, and of course that George R. R. Martin's uh, cinema there. He's done great things and really resurrected. I think what is a landmark in Santa Fe cinema. Absolutely. So, okay. Chef, how is uh, how's the dish coming along? Yeah, the uh, the rice is reducing. Mm -hmm. A little broth. I got to put a little bit of butter mm -hmm. and a little bit of parmesan. I already had some sausage, some spicy Italian sausage. Okay. okay. 
and it's almost and it's almost it. And it's almost done. So, uh, you, what sort of consistency are you looking? Because that looks like a very thick consistency. Yeah, you have so to you reduce want it pretty a, thick, right? Pretty thick, yeah. Okay. Plus the cheese and the battery uh, is really helping to reduce it and give a lot of flavor, and it's like what I want from the from this rice. Plus, it's like how the traditional one is made. Yeah. And uh, the wine really is all the flavor and give like a perfect texture to the rice. And okay. It's lovely. Now I go just to reduce a little bit more and it's ready to go. And it's ready to now, go. Now, is this a dish that you can get at your restaurant usually? No, I want to do uh, this one just for the Italian Film Festival okay. and uh, especially for, uh, for the movie. Uh, the movie, do, they, they go to uh, um, show the night. Uh, is that this uh, uh, Roman family living in Turin. We need, like, I want to make like a dish from Turin. Okay. And That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. And so where is the restaurant located again? It's in uh, uh, Federal Plaza, uh, close to the main post office in Santa Fe, in downtown. Okay. And one more time, the dates for the festival. Well, it starts this Thursday, and it goes uh, the whole following week. Okay. Um, so, you know, definitely go into italianfilmfest.org. And, and that's where people can get that's tickets. That's where people can get tickets. If they okay. want Christian's wonderful dinner, uh, it's best to call the Osteria da Sisi directly. And otherwise, tickets in Santa Fe or at the Jean Cocteau Cinema. The Jean okay. Cocteau. So you yeah. can stop by there, guys. Uh, for more information on what is going on up in Santa Fe and in Albuquerque for the Italian Film and Culture Festival, head over to Casa.com. We'll be right back.